How to start offering managed backup service with OSA backup software. Option 1. Host OSA CPS and users backup data on your own hardware. If you have existing server hardware and storage facilities established in your data center, the easiest and the most cost-effective way to start offering managed backup service is to install and run OSA CPS on your existing hardware and get your user's backup data stored on your data center storage. On the customer's site, install OSA's client agents on the machines that need to be backed up. For servers, install OSA OBM. For desktops or laptops, install ACB. If they have Office 365 Exchange Online or important data stored on public cloud, such as Google Drive or Dropbox, just connect those cloud accounts into OBM or ACB. Then, all data will be automatically backed up to their on-premises NAS device and to your OSA CBS. To maintain your backup service continuity, you can set up another CPS as a warm standby machine with near real-time CPS replication so that if your primary CPS fails you can quickly switch the standby machine into a primary CPS to keep serving your backup customers for large initial backup instead of backing up through the internet you can get the OSA client agent to seed the initial backup to a portable hard drive Take it to your data center and directly copy onto your CBS backup server storage. This initial seed load method can save a plenty of time on large initial backups. One of the main benefits for this configuration is that your customer will have double protections on their data. On one hand, they can quickly restore data from their local backup if there's data loss caused by software and hardware failure, wrong deletion, etc. On the other hand, when a disaster strikes their site and destroys all their local hardware, you can help them rebuild everything with a backup in your CBS server. 